Kenneth Gibson, the MSP, there's a, a gathering of folk here today concerned about the, the Ardrossan to Aran ferry route. What is the issue that has people so concerned? Well, first, I'm delighted to see so many people out here today uh, in Ardrossan Harbour actually because they're concerned that there's a possibility this ferry service may go from Ardrossan and be relocated to Trin. Now, quite frankly, that's madness because it's 50% further. Uh, and that means it'll be 50% more expensive, it'll take 50% longer, and there'll be far fewer sailings because you can only squeeze so many sailings into a day. Um, from a gross point of view, it would also cost 165 jobs that would be relocated from uh, a gross, and I think that's unacceptable. What we need is a, a programme of investment here in a gross, and we need to tell uh, Trun that we're not on track. And there are problems with Trun itself as a potential candidate for a ferry port. I mean, how does our Drossen compare to Trun in terms of the service that could be provided. Well, in terms of service, uh, you know, Adros has been running this service for 182 years because it's clearly the best and most sensible port to run the ferry service uh, from mainland Ayrshire to Arran. Otherwise, it would have went to Trim long ago. There's a myth going round that there's uh, perhaps fewer uh, weather disruptions at Trim, but that's a nonsense. That's why the port of refuge for Adros is not Trim, it's actually Gura, much further up the coast. So, quite clearly, Trim hasn't really got a leg to stand on. And, and of course, even when people People actually do sail from Broderick to Trun, they would find more than a mile to near the railway station. Uh, so in bad weather it would be very difficult for people to connect to Glasgow and beyond. So I don't think Trun is a starter thing. And what would be the impact on the, the people of Arran itself if the, the ferry was to be relocated to Trun? Well Arran last year had an economic growth rate of 10% which exceeded China. So Arran's running on all cylinders and the Scottish Government has to take a lot of credit for that from road equivalent tariff coming in etc. But that would all be ruined by uh, trips to Trun because it would be 50% longer journeys, 50% more expensive and clearly if you're having to increase the, the sailing time you're having to reduce the number of sailings so we wouldn't be able to get people, cars and haulage on and off the island as frequently as we do now. So I think it's bad all round and I think the Scottish Government should re reject the Trun option out of hand. Thanks very much Kevin.